Hi everyone, this is my MC channel. In last video, we discussed about the metalloenzymes and their types. And as we know, metalloenzymes are metal and enzymes combined together and form the big macromolecule that is called metalloenzyme. And it has two broad categories. One is uh, redox metalloenzymes and non-redox metalloenzymes. In that, the redox metalloenzymes have some examples. Mm, non-redox metalloenzymes, we have discussed the examples are carboxypeptidase, carbonic anhydrase, and LADH. In this video, we are going to discuss about the biological role of carboxypeptidase. And first see the carboxypeptidase that is released from pancreatic gland. Simply say it is synthesized in pancreas and secreted in small intestine of the human body. It, the purpose of carboxypeptidase is used to catalyze the protein molecule in the duodenum. That is it used to degrade the protein molecule into several amino acid units. Okay. It was done by using carboxypeptidase. So this reaction is happening in the small intestine okay? and it has different activity in different solution. At neutral solution it shows maximum activity and in alkaline solution it shows moderate activity. And frankly say it has an emetol enzyme which catalyzes the hydrolysis of C-terminal amino acid residue and from a peptide or protein chain. As we know proteins are made up of several peptide units combined together. Peptides are made up of amino acids. Small amino acid units are combined together and form the peptide. And the peptides are combined together and form the protein molecule. So in that protein molecule, there is a N-terminal residue and C-terminal residue. So this carboxypeptide is mainly used to catalyze the C-terminal amino acid residue. Okay. So this carboxypeptide is the otherwise known as exopeptidase. So it works on extracellularly. It works on extracellularly. This way called as exo. Exo means outside. Exopeptidase. Okay. So this carboxypeptidase has some recruitments. That is the enzyme. That is the C-terminal residue must have the S configuration. What is S configuration? If you pass the plane polarized light to the molecule, it should rotate the plane polarized light towards the anticlockwise direction. Then it is a S configuration. So this is the first recruitment of this enzyme. And second, the carboxyl group must be free. The protein which has to be degraded, the N, C, N terminal, the, sorry, the C terminal, that is carboxyl group must be free. There is a free carboxyl group. Then only they can, it can be work. Okay. And if you see the structure of carboxypeptidase, it has two types. One is a carboxypeptidase A and carboxypeptidase B. Simply say CPA A and CPA B. Okay. So these are the two major types. In human system, it has carboxypeptidase A. Okay. So the biological activity is made by using carboxypeptidase A. So it contains 307 amino acid residues in the structure. In carboxypeptidase have it one amino acid extra. Okay, that is it has one extra amino acid in the structures. Three not eight amino acid residues. Okay. Now if you see the structure, and it is coordinated with zinc. So the active site in this molecule carboxypeptidase A is zinc two plus. So zinc two plus is the active site and it is surrounded by the four ligands it is tetrahedrally coordinated so this zinc 2 plus has tetrahedral geometry and if it has three amino acid units that is see histidine 69 there are 307 amino acid residues in that histidine 69 that is it it has three donor atoms that is two nitrogen and one oxygen atom so the two nitrogen atoms from histidine 69 and histidine 169 and the third donor atom that is oxygen is from glutamate 72 so this is the c terminal amino acid which has to be cleaved by using this carbonic carboxypeptidase and the fourth site is occupied by this water molecule okay and this water molecule is loosely bound with this zinc 2 plus 
and this is the structure of carboxy peptidase okay and the, if you see the mechanism of carboxy peptidase first in first step the zinc 2 plus activates the water molecule for nucleophilic attack so this zinc 2 plus make this water molecule for the nucleophilic attack so that the water molecule gets split and polarized so it becomes h plus and oh minus for by the nucleophile base okay and second this polarized proton water molecule cleaves this amino acid that is glutamate this is a glutamate cleaves this and polarize this carbonyl bond in third step it polarizes the carbonyl bond so it makes h plus and oh minus so it removes from the enzyme so the after third step the polarization of carbon bond takes place and it excludes from the enzyme so the amino acid is separated from the enzyme and the peptide chain are removed from the enzyme so this is the overall mechanism of carboxy peptidase and let's see the function of carboxy peptidase and it is an hydrolase enzyme it is a hydrolase enzyme which means it is used to hydrolyze the enzyme okay and it removes a c terminal amino acid from a protein molecule so it removes a glutamate amino acid from the protein molecule and this enzyme helps in the helps in the degradation of peptides in biological system so this process mainly happening in the duodenum of the human body so mainly this reaction taking place in the small intestine of the biological system so this is about the carboxy peptidase okay thanks for watching